Hey, good morning. For this morning devotion, I just wanted to turn uh, to Genesis chapter 31. Before that, I just want to think about in uh, Genesis 46 verse 34 talks about every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians. That means the world hates godly men, godly women. They have a different uh, mindset. They follow in a different plane, different line, different level. But we are totally different. Recently, like we lost our dear pastor. He's still in that pain and the grief of his that loss. It is a great loss. But we, as Paul says in First Thessalonians chapter five, verse twelve and thirteen, we remember him because of he shepherded us, and I believe, like a, a many of us can testify that not only he preached but he also ministered us he shepherded us through the various phases of our lives and this is an important paul says that in first Thessalonians 5 12 and 13 remember them but also esteem them very highly in love for their work's sakes we are like carry those precious memories. Like we were looking at the photos of those memories, like we have the old photos, we're just remembering those incidents with Pastor Carl. And you do, you have that memories. We esteem them very highly. So in Genesis chapter 31, here is the Jacob is it's a it's a conversation with his father-in-law Laban and uh, Jacob married his two daughters Rachel and Leah for a price like a dowry he said I'm going to serve you for like a 14 years seven for the first uh, wife and seven years for the another wife so 14 years and plus Six years, an extra. So it's almost, almost 20 years he served there. And this is what his uh, verses, uh, like his words, in Genesis chapter 31, verses 38 to 40. I just read it. These 20 years I have been with you. Your female sheep and your female gods have not miscarried their young. I have not eaten the rams of your flock. It's like if there was a gentleness. There was a care, tender care by Jacob. There was like a female sheep was pregnant, but he's, he, he just would took, take care, took care. That sheep doesn't belong to Jacob, but belongs to the Laban. That God, the female gods doesn't belong to Jacob, it belongs to Laban. But he tenderly, lovingly taken care. I think that's what I like about Pastor Carl did. Like we are in a way children, spiritually speaking, lovingly, gently. He knew that like according to the capacity, he, he shepherded us. He did not drive us. There was a tenderness. We can see that. That's why we remember him. We highly esteem him. And he also says in 38, I have not eaten the rams of your flock. Meaning he did not like it taken like anything granted. He knew that account he was accountable to Laban. He 
taken, though maybe he was hungry, he could have been taken that, but he didn't do that. He knew that I'm accountable. And I believe this is what like uh, for all of us, we are in a way accountable to God for our time, for our money, for our lives. Verse 39 talks about, he says that that which was torn by the beast, I did not bring to you. I bought the loss of it. Like in a way, there are disappointments comes in the ministry. As a leader knows that. And I believe Pastor Carl like, a, like faced many of like such a experiences. That loss of rejecting, rejected by the people or some other opposition. He bore the loss of it. That's what Jacob says. He says, verse 40, I was in the day that the drought consumed me, the frost by night, my sleep departed from my eyes. Why? Well, I think that's amazing. This is under Jacob. Right? Like he, he says that in the day it was heat, in the night it was snow, frost, cold. My sleep departed from my eyes. But verse 42 says that God was with me. And I think like this is what like as men of God, women of God today, we can look at Pastor Carl's life. We imitate him. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. We go forward in our walk with the Lord. We know that he paid a price. There can be no less sleep. There can be a, a, a heat of the day. There can be a coldness in the heart. But he carried that. He fulfilled that work. And let's go forward. Let's encourage ourselves in the Lord. Let's edify one another. And uh, let the work of God go forward. The same day we also we pray for the comfort of Sue and True. Also Pastor Carl's parents. Alec and Elsa, Lord, Alex and Elsa, Lord. We pray for them. They for family. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Protect us, Lord. The world hates shepherds. But we, as born again believers, we highly esteem them. We pray for Pastor Carl's family, especially for Sue and Andrew. Divine comfort. Let your presence, Lord, comfort them. Lord, we pray for Pastor Carl's parents, Lord, comfort them. The family, Lord, comfort them, Lord. We thank you once again. Bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless. Thank you.